Hey everyone, welcome to the channel. In today's video, I'll show you the top 10 mecha slash romance anime. If you enjoy this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Let's get right into it. At number 10, we have Full Metal Panic. Equipped with cutting-edge weaponry and specialized troops, a private military organization named Mithril strives to extinguish the world's terrorism and all threats to peace on Earth. The organization is powered by the Whisper, individuals who possess intuitive knowledge and the remarkable ability to create powerful devices and machinery. 17-year-old Sosuke Sagara, a sergeant working for Mithril, has been assigned to protect Kaname Chidori, the Whisper candidate. He is ordered to join her high school class and be as close to her as possible to prevent her from falling into enemy hands that is, if he can safely blend in with their fellow classmates without revealing his true identity. At number 9 we have Infinite Stratos, an exoskeleton weapon engineered by Japan. Infinite Stratos, IS, can be piloted only by women. Its power and combat prowess are so immense that an international treaty has been signed banning its use as a military asset. When it is discovered that 15-year-old Ichika Orimura is the only male capable of steering an IS, he is forcibly enrolled in the Infinite Stratus Academy, an all-female boarding school, the students of which graduate to become IS pilots. At this training school, Ichika is reunited with two of his childhood friends, Huki Shinonano and Lingyin Huang, and befriends Cecilia Akat an IS representative from the United Kingdom. <laughs> At number 8, we have Date Alive. Chido Itsuka is a seemingly average high school student who lives with his younger sister, Kotori. When an imminent spatial quake threatens the safety of Tengu City, he rushes to save her, only to be caught in the resulting eruption. He discovers a mysterious girl at its source, who is revealed to be a spirit, an otherworldly entity whose appearance triggers a spatial quake. Soon after, he becomes embroiled in a skirmish between the girl and the anti-spirit team, a ruthless strike force with the goal of annihilating spirits. <laughs> At number 7, we have Dragona, the Resonance. 20 years prior to the story's beginning, an asteroid headed for Earth destroys Pluto. Due to Pluto's destruction, the asteroid, which is dubbed Thanatos, becomes temporarily stagnant. Now, in order to avoid Earth's impending destruction, the International Solar System Development Agency works on the D project and creates the Dragon Egg. After finding a Dragon Egg under the ocean, this weapon's primary purpose is to destroy the asteroid when the time comes. However, they soon find out that the asteroid is not their only threat, as powerful dragon like creatures, which are bent on destruction, appear on Earth. <laughs> At number 6, we have Undefeated Bahamut Chronicle. Lux, a former prince of an empire named Arcadia that was overthrown via a rebellion five years earlier, accidentally trespasses in a female dormitory's bathing area, sees the kingdom's new princess, Lisa Shard, naked, incurring her wrath. Lisa Shark then challenges Lux to a drag ride duel. Drag rides are ancient armored mechanical weapons that have been excavated from ruins all around the world. Lux used to be called the strongest drag knight, but now he's known as the undefeated weakest drag knight because he will absolutely not attack in battle. After his duel with Lisa Shark, Lux ends up attending the female only academy that trains royals to be drag knights. At number 5, we have 100. When an extraterrestrial organism known as Savage attacks mankind, the only technology capable of combating the enemy is a weapon and its creatures that now inhabit Earth and threaten its safety. <laughs> At 
ていただけませんかよかったら巫女の鈴代ですあまたあまた空ですそうですか At number four, we have Aquarian Evol. 12,000 years after the events in Genesis Aquarion, humans live on the star Vega under constant threat of trans-dimensional beings called abductors. These enemies originate from Vega's sister star, Altair, and raid Vega for human life. As a countermeasure, an organization known as Neo Diava formed to combat the abductors. They pilot advanced mecha suits called Aquaria and are strictly separated by gender. Boys and girls are not allowed contact. They are even restrained from fighting on the same battlefield. However, events take a shocking turn when an advanced abductor mecha suit joins the fray. <laughs> At number three, we have Gargantia on the Vergerous planet. In the distant future, a majority of humans have left the Earth and the Galactic Alliance of Humanity is founded to guide exploration and ensure the prosperity of mankind. However, a significant threat arises in the form of strange creatures called Hidaiza, resulting in an interstellar war to prevent humanity's extinction. Armed with Chamber, an autonomous robot, 16-year-old Lieutenant Leto of the Galactic Alliance joins the battle against monsters. In an unfortunate turn of events, Leto loses control during the battle and is cast out to the far reaches of space. Crash landing on a waterlogged Earth. At number two, we have Guilty Crown, Japan, 2039, 10 years after the outbreak of the apocalypse virus, an event solemnly regarded as Lost Christmas. The once proud nation has fallen under the rule of the GHQ an independent military force dedicated to restoring order. Funeral Parlor, a guerrilla group led by the infamous Gai Tsutsugami, acts as freedom fighters, offering the only resistance to GHQ's cruel despotism. Inori Yuzuhira, a key member of Funeral Parlor, runs into the weak and unsociable Shuoma during a crucial operation, which results in him obtaining the power of kings, an ability which allows the wielder to draw out the manifestations of an individual's personality, or voids. At number one, we have Darling in the Franks. In the distant future, humanity has been driven to near extinction by giant beasts known as Klaxosars, forcing the surviving humans to take refuge in massive fortress cities called plantations. Children raised here are trained to pilot giant mechas known as Franks the only weapons known to be effective against the Klaxosaurs in boy-girl pairs. Bred for the sole purpose of piloting these machines, these children know nothing of the outside world and are only able to prove their existence by defending their race. That's it for the list. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And also, check out my other videos. Bye!